Welcome to a special edition of Crook and Kipe. As tonight, Reuben Foster of the San Francisco 49ers has been charged on suspicion of domestic violence. This is not his first run-in with the law. About a month ago, he was charged with possession of marijuana out in Alabama. But this domestic violence charge is serious, and now that could be two strikes against him. And it really could put John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, and Jed York in a terrible bind this offseason. The good news is there's plenty of cap space out there that they could go out and acquire another linebacker. And last year, Reuben Foster was good in the 10 games he started. Then, the thing is, I think he, I think the Niners front office told Foster recently to move to San Jose after what's happened to him over there in Alabama. So this gets really interesting. He was also charged with, with the possession of a, an assault weapon. And you know what? The first thing that Jed York and Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch should not do is jump to conclusions. They should let the due process work itself out for the time being. Maybe you put him on the commissioner's exempt list, put him on paid leave, and instruct Reuben Foster, for the time being, not to be anywhere near Niners facilities until further investigation. And then also, he's going to be facing an, invest an investigation from the NFL. The marijuana charge, he certainly could get up to four games for that under the personal conduct policy. And then add this, the domestic violence Ruben Foster could potentially miss the majority of this next NFL season. He could be suspended up to 10 games, depending on the outcome of these results. And if you saw what happened with Ezekiel Elliott and Tom Brady last couple years, it will be very difficult to overturn it in the courts should he be handed a suspension at this point in time. And he's at least, and you know, he doesn't need to be found guilty. But I think if he is, but if they do find enough evidence on him, I certainly think that he will be cut, he might need to be cut from the team. That's, Certainly, it's something that's going to have to happen. Hello to everything NHL. And then, yeah, and certainly, this is tough on the Niners. It's, I think, certainly think that paid leave is another thing that's got to happen for, certainly, I, I certainly think paid leave is going to have to happen for Reuben Foster while he's charged with, charged with domestic violence. All right, everything in HL. Reuben Foster was arrested and charged with domestic violence today. And, and he's going to be facing an investigation from the NFL, likely. And I certainly think he is going to be suspended at this point in time. Just the question is, if they add the marijuana with the domestic violence, he could be getting up to 10 games. And also, depending on the outcome of this, I certainly think the commissioner's exempt list is not out of the question. But this is certainly concerning for a, for a kid who's got really good talent at linebacker and was one of the one of the best linebackers for the Niners last year. And I, I don't know if Jed York or John Lynch want to take the risk 
but there's certainly going to be a long suspension coming if he is found guilty. But the first thing they need to do is not panic and let the due process handle itself out. But I think definitely for the time being, during this offseason, he needs to be placed on paid leave. And hopefully we will have some sort of update later this week as the investigation continues into this. But it's, I, I don't think this is looking good for Reuben Foster. And I just hope that I'm certainly thinking he will be at least suspended if they find enough evidence that he's more likely than not guilty. And that's the difference between the NFL and a court of law. It doesn't, it just had the scales have to be tipped enough for Roger Goodell to say, suspend him. He does not have to be found guilty. If you saw what happened with Ezekiel Elliott last year and the long court battle with that. And then, of course, Roger Goodell's disciplinary power, that is certainly something that's going to come up on the next CBA in 2021. And I certainly think that's going to be part, losing his power of discipline is going to be one of the big things coming up for Goodell when the new CBA comes up. And I certainly think players will strike over it, too, if they have to. But this is a tough night for the Niners, and don't jump to a conclusion. But the best thing the Niners front office should do is not jump to conclusions just yet. But as I said, lock and don't have them anywhere near the Niners facilities until the investigation is complete. And then make a decision from there whether or not to, if it's worth it to keep him on the roster or not. And yes, that yes, I do think I, I agree. Any everything NHL, I certainly think he is not going to be able to duck a suspension. Just the question is, will it be six games or will it be ten games if they add the marijuana charge? So certainly, he could be spending the majority of next season suspended if he's still on the roster. And this is just bad for a kid who's just got a lot of talent who just can't stay out of trouble. Oh, we got a shootout. And we'll just have to give it time. But yeah, that's just too bad about Reuben Foster. All right, I'm going to go catch the shootout. Good night, everybody on this sad day in 49er land.